Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Leo, for the month of October 2021, darling. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading today, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below, darling, which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you, Leo, through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe for today, Leo, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you do and plus it's completely free to do darling uh remember leo it does not matter what you identify as whether it's he she they them and anything inside or outside of that spectrum darling your identity is yours to rem uh just your business darling right i mean look at me when it comes to my weekly tarot readings and just my readings in general darling my readings are always going to be all inclusive so keep that in mind as well as that i am just a man reading some tarot cards to you leo you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate leave the tarot cards that don't because it's your life to live darling not mine i believe tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought for today respect it to be considering leo but never making the choices in your life so with all that being said leo let's just jump into your weekly tarot horoscope scope reading darling let's see what's going on for y'all remember as well leo i am doing a 20 percent off reading uh discount for my private readings on my website simply valka Dot com. I always leave those details in the pinned comments below. So uh, check that out. Uh, let's do a little bit of a vibe check for you guys, Leo. Let's see what's going on. You see the general direction of the energies and the card comes flying out to darling the four of air or the four of swords and normal tarot coming in for you leo so this card says uh, a time to rest or take a vacation leo allow more time before making a decision and the meditation may provide the answers for you leo hmm excuse me darling uh so right off the bat uh leo i f i get this strong impression that you're going to be like i keep hearing closure so I get this impression that you guys are going to be receiving some closure in regards to a situation. You know, let me adjust this real quick, darling. <laughs> there we go hopefully that looks better it's it was bothering me beforehand so um neo yeah i feel as if something's going to be coming forward to you that brings forth some sense of closure this sense of healing so you know depending on the situation right if this is more so over a social thing and you've been hurting in regards to a connection in your life then maybe they're going to be coming forward to you leo with an apology um if this is in regards to maybe what's been weighing heavy on you right now bringing some pain darling it's bills dealing right <laughs> this is the time oh girl i'm about to choke on my own spit honey um this is a time in our life right now where it's just like financial is the biggest issue for many of us leo so it's just like wherever it is that you feel like you need healing the most and wherever like you know my readings are always oh my legs coming asleep darling like, my legs falling asleep ah uh, <laughs> you know wherever it is you know because my readings are collaborative darling it's up to, i always ask you guys to rely on your intuition as well because you know your situation better that's where it's going to be that's where the healing is going to be coming in so if it's financially that you've been hurting darling maybe there's going to be a financial blessing coming in here we have the hermit card stepping forward to you leo as well as the seven of pentacles coming in leo and then for your third card we have the star card coming in leo so i get for you guys you know you've been doing a lot of self-work leo you've been doing a lot of self-work you've been reflecting and seeing where it is that you can improve perhaps for some of you guys you're just like all right what am i doing wrong in the situation where i can where can i personally improve um in terms of your garden in terms of like what it is that you're nurturing right the star card by definition is the wish fulfillment card leo so it's just definitely in regards to some of you guys maybe you've been having like a little bit of a rough uh time trying to uh bring something to harvest trying to get the results of something you know if it's in terms of a person you've been having a hard time communicating with them and getting them to talk to you so you've been feeling probably a little isolated that would explain why you have that hermit energy here leo if this is in regards to anything else you know maybe you've been going through a little bit of a dry spell when it comes to your money or when it comes to just like trying to bring forth opportunities into your life and I just feel for you guys, Leo, in the sense that something's going to be coming to hand. And yeah, Six of Wands daily is my favorite card in the tarot deck outside of the Major Arcana. So this is by definition a card of victory, fame, and fortune, darling. So look it up if you don't believe me. I always like to tell people um, in terms of the definition of cards so you know I'm just not just like blowing smoke, you know, because it's like I'm very much so about uh, against sugarcoating, darling. I'll tell you what I see, darling. And so it's like if I don't see success coming in, darling, and things looking up, darling, I'm not going to tell 
tell you that because then you're going to be coming back a week later and be like, well, Valka, what the heck? You said that things would be looking fabulous, darling. And then actually I had a tower moment, you know. And plus, it does no one no good if I just tell you guys a bunch of positive things. You can just ask Siri for that, right? You don't need a tarot reader. You have the Nine of Cups coming in as well, the Wish Fulfillment card on your Seven of Pentacles. So here's the thing, Aries. Things are about to be looking up in a very positive way for you guys, right? Things are about to be looking up. You know, I always like to use the Seven of Pentacles as a time of like a garden or, or a card of the garden because you, that's usually what the card reflects in the artwork is some type of garden tending to your crops, nurturing them, right? And so continuing on with that analogy, Leo, it's the sense of where, um, you know, rain's coming in, darling. Rain's going to be coming in and blessing those crops, really helping it out. And I say that in that analogy because the Six of Wands is like a spotlight card focusing in on you. So it's just like this continuous message of where it's like you're going to you're about to be taken care of in tenfold. Right. You know, you've been wishing for just some financial relief. You've been wishing to hear back from this person or just to hear back from anyone, darling. Maybe you just have been trying to manifest some more positive social connections in your life, whether it's romantic or platonic. Um, it's really going to be coming in, darling. Like all these, like just by looking up the definition of these cards, it's just like, and the star card clarifying the star card, Leo, I can't make this up for you, honey. My gosh, like this is such a powerful reading right off the bat, darling. Or, you know, again, I don't know if I said it beforehand, but the star card also by definition is the wish fulfilling card, making a wish and just your wishes coming true. So you have three cards talking about that. You have a six of wands talking about fame and fortune and just victory and success and, cel and a celebratory time. So it's just like, Leo, like darling, you may be going through that dry spell right now. Your crops may be looking a little bit crusted and dusted and just a little bit crispy, darling, because you just haven't had like like a time of just like good fortune in this regard but it's just like again i'm not just telling you this just to tell you this darling i'm just telling you what the meaning of these cards are and that's like you know like your wishes are going to be coming true so it's just like again think about what it is that your main focus has been think about where it is that you've been needing just a sense of healing because the star card does uh, reflect in regards to healing just the same as the four of swords does remember in the week so it's just like you know girl i just love it when i'm so good at my job not for my own ego but it's just like i just love how these cards are aligning you know right off the bat just for my intuitive messages it just aligns so perfectly with these cards so like i like to point this out just so it tells people where it's just like you know that skepticism which everyone should have a healthy dose of skepticism leo but it's just like girl i can't make this up like this is just a fabulous reading you have the mountain goat coming in for you leo and i'll go ahead and read it off for you this card says leo there's something out of balance in your life and do whatever you need to do to correct I thought I said recover it, but correct it, uh, Leo. And then we have coming in the third quarter or first quarter moon your commitments being tested so this dry period that you've been going through leo it's almost as if i hope this doesn't come off as just like being like oh girl boy why do i need to be tested darling who do you think you are darling right um well it's not me testing you anyway so you shouldn't be saying that to me but <laughs> leo you know this dry spell that you've been going through you know, I definitely feel like it's very divine. Like, I know it's a cop out, right? Um, or it can sound like a cop out, but it feels as if like this divine period where it's just like, you know, if you'll notice, Leo, probably I'm willing to bet. I don't want to be presumptuous and say for all of you, Leos, but it's just like, you know, things have been looking a little rough for you, Leo, but notice that you haven't come completely crashing down. You take that leap of faith and you're falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. And just before you hit the ground, darling, you go splat, honey. Um, something is there to just pick you back up. Even if it's not all the way back up, it's still something just to keep you a little bit afloat, right? So I take that as, I, you always personally will just take that as a sign that like that's divinely, like spirit has your back, darling. Spirit's trying to get you in a place of like building more character darling leo spirits in this place of just really um trying to teach you something or just what have you um in your life maybe it's just like it wasn't the right time for blessings to be coming in uh leo but it's just like now you know the time is quickly coming in for you guys so just buckle up darling because it's just like y'all's reading is looking so fabulous you know i kind of wish i was a leo at this point in time um so let's continue on leo what don't you see coming towards y'all y'all's energy darling the strength card leo y'all consistently have been having your strength your own card coming in darling which i just i appreciate darling because it just shows to me that you are very much so in alignment with where uh your energy needs to be going um 
Continuing on, we have the Knight of Wands coming in here, as well as the Hanged Man coming in as well. So whatever has been happening in your life, it's been trying to change your perspective, trying to get you to change things up and just like your approach with things, Leo. I get to this sense of where it's like... You know, for many of you Leos, it's almost as if like the path that you were going on, it just wasn't really fulfilling you completely because I see the Knight of Wands being on their journey to become the King of Wands. And so there's definitely some editing that needed to happen in your life, Leo. And I see for you guys, you guys are going to be just having a very great change of approach and then um, perspective. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, darling. You've been having this period of struggle. You've been having this period of just having to really dig deep in within yourself, Leo, and being like, all right, like... I'm going to make do with what I got, so darling, I'm going to just make the most of this. And honestly, you should be celebrating yourself, Leo, and the fact that you got this far to this point in your life without, you know, during this rough period. So imagine now that the Wheel of Fortune is going to be turning in your favor, darling, imagine what it is that you're going to be accomplishing now, darling. You have the Ten of Pentacles coming in here. This is the stability. This is, you know, you grow that Seven of Pentacles, darling, those crops into something just completely just like, you know, where it starts bearing fruit. The Ten of Pentacles is a fabulous card for career and financial situations as well, Leo. So again, if you guys have been going through some financial distress, darling, it's not going to be happening for too much longer. And then, Leo, we have the Three of Swords on that Hanged Man. So there's definitely something that was put into your life recently, Leo, that caught, like, that definitely caused some disappointment, definitely caused some pain for you. But I definitely feel as if, as I was saying beforehand, like, I know how annoying it might sound initially, Leo, but truly, like, I feel like six months down the road, Leo, you're going to be looking back and be like, man, I'm really glad, like, that obstacle happened in my life at that current point in time because then it readjusted your trajectory of where your life is going to be in such a way where it just sets you up for so much more success you know at the current time it wasn't making sense to you darling but now um but much later down the road you're gonna be thankful that it happened so um or maybe that's just me being overly optimistic leo but take this as you will darling we're gonna be giving these cards to miss barbara walters darling and to miss aretha franklin leo and then we're gonna be continuing on into your spirit guide as well as your ancestral messages this week leo let's see what's going on girl <laughs> if i don't throw these cards off uh, you have the lover's card stepping forward to you leo as well as the world card coming in here can we get another major arcana honey can we see here ace or page of wands coming in here it's not a, another major arcana but you know it'll make do it's a very good card to have as well i see for you guys you know i see you guys stepping into a very powerful cycle now, I see for many people, Leo, um, socially, um, I would say probably about like 75 or 80% of you guys, Leo, you're going to be attracting some new people into your life. I say this because of that lover's card and that world card representing cycles, a new cycle starting as well as that lover's card where it's like something of like a little bit more of an intimate energy. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic at all because not everything in our life revolves around romance, darling. Um, Page of Wands here is where it's like, you know, this is a sense of just like you know beginning of a new long-term connection in your life so maybe the beginning of a new uh friend in your life that's someone that is like a lot more because i keep hearing reliable leo just like a very reliable energy here and i feel as if that's exactly what you need in fact i don't even feel like for many of you guys this is gonna be about romance just because i feel like for many of you guys your main focus is not only to do some soul searching um and just getting your own life in order but you want to be attracting just you want it feels as if you want just like a circle of people that you can just trust and then like you know friends your friendship first but if anything develops after that that's fabulous but yeah, I just feel as if for many of you guys, Leo, it's just like it's just a very strong soul connection that you're going to attract with somebody. You have here the messenger card coming in here, which is the Hierophant and Normal Tarot. So when that's clarifying the lover's card, you know, the Hierophant represents um card of marriage or just like a something of long-term commitment or just committal energy um very traditional energy so i really stand strongly by many of you guys leo is going to be attracting if it's not a person leo this page of wands represents just like you know especially for this is for like a financial portion for you guys you know what i was talking about with that four of air that needs to be healed 
that's going to be healed leo it's going to be really coming in as a sense of an opportunity coming in for you guys um then the eight of wands a card of traveling and then we have here the seven of swords here so it's again whatever that page of wands um ra or rather whatever that four of swords was coming in for you uh aries why am i calling you aries leo of where it's just like that wherever that those blessings needed to be happening wherever that healing needed to be happening this page of wands is definitely going to be what's taking care of that and that's why as i was saying beforehand since these are your spirit guided and ancestral messages leo and this is very much so where it's just like they're testing you you pass the test leo and then they're going to be rewarding you with a very fruitful connection um a very fruitful opportunity for you to be delving into so i like this energy a lot let's get some oracle cards here you have the zebra card leo which i'll read it off this says let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times what was i just saying with that analogy which is like right before you splat darling like spirit comes and just lifts you up darling isn't there a song with where it's just like jesus this is or like god is like the wind beneath your wings or something like that girl girl i don't know <laughs> let me know if y'all know what i'm talking about though i think maybe it's a song i don't know leo it don't matter uh yeah the full moon in libra during libra season darling hello which also i've always been po pointing out for a while now leo and that you guys have been having just both you and libra have been consistently having each other's cards coming in very strongly so um definitely let me know if you connect with the libra but uh regardless you have a win-win outcome is in forecast so you know just another reaffirming message leo and that things are definitely going to be working out in your favor darling even if you uh whether you believe it or not you know so enough of these cards leo now let's get into the social portion of your reading darling let's see what's going on there you have the ten of cups already looking really promising uh for you leo this, I, <laughs> I feel as if this is about to just prove my point of what i was saying beforehand leo like a very powerful uh connection coming in here two of swords coming in and then leo we have the queen of swords so one thing to be watching out for leo i do feel as if when this social connection does try to come into your life you're going to be pretty guarded now we all have our reasons for why we're going to be guarded for certain energies trying to come in certain connections what have you but you know the main message here obviously free will darling and leo whatever decisions you end up making in your life i'm always here to support you darling but i have to be the messenger darling in these tarot cards and that's like i feel as if you're gonna have a very a connection because i always like to say leo and you'll know what i'm talking about if i if you've been a regular to my channel but anytime the ten of cups comes in i always refer to this as like your inner circle of people um people that you can trust people that you can rely on and I feel as if for you guys, you have a potential energy coming in here, trying to become that could be very fitting for your inner circle. Um, that'd be very good for you emotionally and healing for you emotionally. But you're going to be extremely guarded, right? You're going to be extremely guarded. And so it's like, while this connection is coming in, it's not promised, right? Because it's still reliant on you to not be closed off to not be um overtly critical and just you know shutting it down before it even has a chance of blossoming into something fabulous darling you have here the ace of wands because you're going to be feeling that it's gonna it's an attraction on both sides leo it's a very strong attraction on both sides with the knight of swords i feel like so many sword cards and plus with that libra energy i feel as if like <laughs> leo i feel as if many of you guys are just attracting an air sign and then the strength card again coming in your energy leo so it's like man girl you can't fight this i feel as if this connection is going to be coming in regardless or not whether you like it or not um so it's definitely going to be you know this energy is not not going to go away without a fight leo but um yeah darling that is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you leo hopefully some cards resonated with you um let me know in the comments below if it did and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe leo because i would appreciate it um as well darling um remember i am running a discount on my personal private readings which i rarely ever do uh on my website simplyvelco.com i always leave it as my pinned comments darling for easy um accessibility but uh yeah i love you so much leo and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future be sure to check out my social medias it's just simply Velka on instagram and tiktok darling and bye leo